What's up everybody, how's it going? And welcome to this episode of Car Rant. Today is something very special because we're going out in the wild. And more importantly, we're helping my dad buy himself a new car. Now, when I say new car, I don't actually mean like a 2021 factory special option. For him, it's new, new to him. And we are going to go look at a old SR5 Tacoma Correction Highlander. I'm actually really stoked and excited for him. He's wanted some kind of truckish SUV thing for a hot minute now. And this will be his perfect way to go from the V6 Camaro into an actual big boy car with some actual sauce power and functionality for his use. Because honestly, the Camaro was definitely a midlife crisis type of car, you know what I'm saying? And this is definitely the more mature, responsible option for him. So I'm actually really excited to see what he wants to do with it. Because we do know, being an older vehicle, he's gonna wanna modify just, just a little bit. And uh, given our track record, we're probably gonna mod it for him. <laughs> but without further ado, time to make the man some coffee so he can get on the road and go to Warrington. Once that thing's done, I can get it plated out, go get it legal. This is going goodbye. This is gonna go bye bye. Are you happy so, to let it go? I'm happy to let it go. Sick of the two wheel it's, drive life? It's been, uh, no, it's been <laughs> fun. It's been fun, it really has. Absolutely impractical for your needs now though. Now it's impractical. Yeah. Now well, it's impractical. The old silver Camaro that was in half the videos that were done here is now gonna be a silver Hopefully the next Toyota couple thing. of weeks it's gonna be gone. Let's see, the DMV, as this channel knows, the DMV is not the nicest place ever right now thanks to the COVID restrictions. Yeah. So, I'm gonna take this to Harmony and get a detail inside it out. You wanna take it to Flagship? Let me know, because I'm not saying I got a hookup, I just like going to Herndon. <laughs> <laughs> see it. Not too bad. Well, it's a quad shot of a new coffee. That's why I was like, oh, I want to see what he thinks. It's not Death Wish. I can tell. <laughs> it's brighter, but it's yeah. not that bright. Not very oily either. Hmm. So it's very much more the natural it's, taste of itself. Yeah, it's different, definitely. It's not too bad, though. Yeah. All right, my folks and I, we just got here. We're actually about to go talk to the guy just now because he pulled in literally as we got here. It honestly looks really good. Uh, I'm not going to film because this is in a private neighborhood, so just to respect the previous owner's, you know, privacy, we're not going to film here, we'll film it when we get probably back to the house, it's really not that far away, but from what we see right now, it is in gorgeous, gorgeous condition, I'm very excited to see what else this thing has going on for it. This is my dad's new Toyota 4Runner. It is a beautiful car in incredibly good shape for how old it is, I mean we're looking at a car with over almost 200,000 miles and I sat in the car with my dad test drove it this thing drives like it's still new I mean for a car of its age to be in this good of shape with definitely cleaned up headlights and everything else like pretty much new tires new brakes were done very recently in its lifespan this thing has had a lot done to it and in all the right ways and all the right places like I said there are some areas that show its age you know little things here and there but otherwise, they're good. Got it for about 6,700. It's a quality vehicle and it's fast too. Compared to the now very dirty, thanks to all the snow RAV4, this thing is a hustle bus. Helps that it's a V6, not a V4 or inline four. Yeah, man, it's just it's great. It has all the options internally and because my dad has the thing for it, he can get that nice dark tint and not get pulled over here in Virginia. All in all, super stoked for my dad's new ride. Uh, he has agreed with me that we do need to modify it in little, little, little ways, you know. Nothing too crazy. Maybe get some wheels in the future. Doubt it, but yeah, it's a possibility. Definitely get some sway bars. 
I'm definitely going to also help him get some other little knickknacks here and there. Maybe change out his lights for yellow ones for the fog lights because it's a little easier for fogs that way. Uh, definitely help with some interior stuff. It actually has some really cool options already built into it like trailer stuff because the previous owner was a bit of an outdoorsier person. Had the trailer and everything else. So all in all, really proud of my dad and of his new ride. And I'm hoping that we can do stuff with it very soon because, yeah, we both know the DMV stuff is going to take forever. But we can get that beast up there, up and running sooner, later. Oh, yeah, we're going to have a blast with that thing. Also, in other news, this envelope right here has some of the best news I've had in a while. I finally got the title for the RAV4. I have waited for this for such a long time and I'm super excited to finally have this because this right here, this thing right here has been a bit of a thorn in my side and a very expensive almost $500 a month bit to pay this car off and I'm very excited that it's now officially mine which means we can actually modify it. So, things we're going to do to this, the RAV4, it's nothing too, too crazy either. Definitely I'm going to try and invest in a better sound system because honestly I'm probably going to drive this more than the Evo when I get it back. We're definitely also going to invest in a new head unit stereo, some sway bars for this one. It's going to need tires soon, might even need wheels, and it definitely needs brakes. So there's some things that are going to get had, handled and happen to this vehicle and it just makes me happy knowing that Toyota SUVs are now a new segment on Car Rant. So, you know, sometimes things just happen that way. I'm here at home now and I actually just realized that I haven't told you guys on the channel yet that we've got a new apartment. We're in a new place. Check it out. It's, it's not huge by the stretch of the imagination. But 775 square foot apartment, got it at a pretty solid rate, and my utility bills have been filthy cheap. Thanking God for that, because your boy don't have a ton of money for bills. Your boy needs money for builds, not bills. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we obviously are still definitely unpacking things without question, but you know, we're, we're solid. We've got... You know, my dad donated me a couch, a pull-out couch, so when John comes down and visits, or if anyone needs the space, I can pull the bed out of this thing. Uh, of course, Merlin's beater couch. Uh, speaking of Merlin, 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 hey, hey, Merlin. He is so enamored with peanut butter in that bone. There he is. Hi, buddy. How are you? He's so big now. You know, last time I showed you guys him, he was... A little boy, little, little little boy. Now he's a big boy, big chungus. Got a pretty baller kitchen. This was something I was super stoked about. I had my folks over at a small, small coffee mishap, so don't mind that. I actually got a dishwasher. Like I'm set up here, man, and I can't be more thankful for it than making steaks out the wazoo because we've been celebrating. Got some quality wagyu beef that was really good. And of course, because tomorrow is supposed to be a snow day, you know, DiGiorno pizza because we broke boys. I'm currently working on trying to get my PC setup done. That way I can actually do some like baller edit work, you know, run things like Adobe Premiere and uh, everything involved with the higher end units. I've been using a program called Filmora for a long time and I'm just wanting to up my game all the way around. And now that I have this place with more space, I also definitely want to try and get maybe some merch stuff started. Most name, namely above all things is uh, shirts and sweatshirts because I just, I love the idea of doing like a clothing brand because it's just been something I've wanted to do with this channel for a long time. So I feel like we can bring some unique designs and different types of stuff to the table other than the typical like anti-social social club stuff that we constantly see. It's like there was so much creativity at one point with the automotive clothing stuff and then it just completely fell off because everybody started making basically the same thing. 
So I'm hoping with the help of Ish and my boys in the Lone Sabers, we'll be able to come up with some good designs, stuff that maybe you guys be interested in. If I ever do that, I will let you all know, of course, here and also on the Instagram page at carant.youtube. So yeah, but anyways, yeah, new apartment, dad's got a new whip, and now that I have my title, I technically now own my own new whip. <laughs> <laughs> but with all that said, thanks for tuning in for our lives, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. God bless, and peace!